Look at how dry and crusty it made my lips. <gasps> oh my God, it looks really bad. This is How Much Should I Spend, a show where I test out a product at various price points to let you know which is the best value for your money. Today, we're gonna be trying out five top-rated, long-lasting red lipsticks, ranging from $10 to $37. The red lipsticks that I'm gonna be testing out are the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink at $10, the Sephora Cream Lip Stain at $14, the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick at $22, the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint at $24, and the YSL Tattoo Wash Couture Matte Lip Stain at $37. Now, red lipstick is just so classic and iconic, and everyone has their opinion on which one they think is the best. For me, the perfect red lipstick is one that applies like a dream, is comfortable on the lips, is obviously super pigmented, and it can last through anything. I feel like the best way to test a lipstick staying power is to eat something very liquidy and greasy. So each day I'm gonna be having the exact same lunch, a bowl of noodles and soup covered in hot chili oil. I'll be impressed if any lipstick survives that. The first red lipstick that we're gonna be trying out is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Pioneer, and this is $10. You can find it at pretty much any drugstore. They have like a million colors. I have tried out this lipstick before, and it is pretty long lasting. I think it has something to do with the formula itself. It's like kind of tacky. Like I don't think tacky is the right word, but it's the word I'm going to use. It's very just like stringy and sticky almost. So it really just like adheres to your mouth. So far, I'm loving how it looks. It feels pretty okay, aside from that weird tackiness, and it applied really, really nicely. So now the only test left is to see how long it actually lasts. So far, I think that I'm actually impressed with how this one is holding up after eating. I was kind of expecting the oil to break the lipstick apart and make it feel all slippery and slidey, but it absolutely did not do that. I think the fact that it's not transferring and not breaking apart after eating is a really good sign and I have a feeling that this one is gonna last all day long. It definitely does have some noticeable fade. Like, watch my lips when they're relaxed. Like you can definitely see like that line of separation very obviously in the center of my mouth. Am I super completely in love with this lipstick? No, I feel like it has its flaws with the weird stickiness and it's definitely feeling a lot more dry at the end of the day than it did when I first applied. The next lipstick we're gonna try out is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain and this is in the shade Always Red. This retails for $14 and they only sell it at Sephora because this is their brand. Now I am so excited to try this one out because this is actually the red lipstick that the Rockettes use and they buy this stuff in bulk. So supposedly it's that good. And if it can last through them sweating and dancing for like hours upon hours, then it better last on me. I really, really like this one so far. It has the most like comfortable velvety feel on the lips. It's a lot different than the Maybelline one. And I did several layers of this and it still feels very thin and comfortable. I think the color is gorgeous. I love the tone of this red. And right now I'm just hoping that this lasts through me eating all of those noodles because I really like this one so far. I think the oil melted down the lipstick in a way where if I rub my lips together, I'm kind of spreading the color around. When I was done eating, I noticed a lot more gaps, but now that I did this, it all seemed to settle right back to where it was, which I guess is a good thing. Kind of not a good thing that it started coming off. For eating a bunch of hot, oily, spicy soup, this isn't bad. I feel like I've looked worse. <laughs> 
For $14, I don't think that this lipstick was too bad. I think the color is still pretty vibrant for wearing it all day long and eating. It's not as terrible as I thought it would be at this moment in time, but it also does look a bit messy. Like, look over here. There are like areas where the color has gathered in my lip lines. You see like in this, these areas, the corners of the mouth. Obviously the Rockettes aren't up there like eating hot soup, so their lipstick remains in amazing condition, but I think when I ate, it actually really took a toll on this lipstick because it started to look less good. It didn't hold up too great after eating. The next red lipstick we're gonna be trying out is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Beso. This is $22. I have this exact lipstick. I've used this lipstick before and I feel like I stopped using it because I thought it was a bit drying on me towards the end of the day. I'm willing to give it a second chance because this is AOC's favorite red lipstick after all and I feel like if it works for her, I want it to work for me too. Wow, this lipstick is insanely pigmented. I don't even understand how I managed to forget that because this is good. It only took one dip into the tube for it to cover my entire mouth and I didn't have to keep going back in for more. It wasn't patchy, it was super creamy and smooth going on, but it does feel a little bit dry. Just a little bit dry right now and that makes me nervous because it's like, it's only gonna feel more and more dry as the day goes on but I guess we're just gonna have to see. That's actually not bad. I do have soup all over my face, but this looks pretty much exactly the same. It's a little bit rubbed off on the inside of my mouth, but I expect that with all of the lipsticks. Okay, wait, no, that's really good. This looks way better and it's not, changed in the way like the formula feels on my lips. It doesn't feel greasy or oily or like it's breaking apart. It still feels exactly the same. It's been eight hours since I applied these Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is our $22 lipstick. And I do have to say that this color has really lasted on me. I think it's still very rich and very pigmented, so I'm really happy about that. I think you can tell like up close, there are just like certain areas of my mouth that look kind of dried and crusty more so than others. It's not a perfect formula, but it's something I think that's close to a perfect long lasting formula. I just wish there was a way to get it so that it won't be so dry after eight hours of wear. The next red lipstick we're gonna be trying out is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. And whether you love Rihanna or you hate Rihanna, which is physically impossible, you know about this lipstick. This was one of like Rihanna's first products that she ever launched with Fenty Beauty and everybody bought it. We all bought it. I love this lipstick. I think because this applicator is so curvy, it makes it really easy for you to follow the natural lines of your lips without making too much of a mess. I think the main reason why so many people love this lipstick, aside from like it's killer pigmentation is the fact that it's supposed to be a universal red, so a lot of different skin tones can use this one. Oh no, it's on my teeth. Ew. Oh God. It looks like I got punched. This formula does take a second or two to dry, so just keep that in mind before you start smiling immediately upon application. This is, this is literally one of the richest reds I have ever owned. I really, really love this lipstick. It's like so saturated. It looks the same to me. And this one has like the least amount of butt holiness <laughs> than the other ones did after the soup. I feel like the other ones after soup, this like whole inside layer had completely disappeared, but this one still looks really good. Oh, I do have some lipstick on my teeth though. Or is that a chili flake? That's a chili flake. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I don't think I can say enough times how much I love this lipstick. 
why does this lipstick look so good at this time of day after eating oily noodles? I don't understand, it's incredible. Look at how vibrant my lipstick still looks eight hours later. I just want my lips to feel comfortable at the end of the day. I don't wanna have to sacrifice lip comfort for longevity. I wanna have like the best of both worlds. I want it to last a long time and still feel comfortable. And this lipstick gives it to me. We are moving on to our final red lipstick. This is the YSL Tattooage Couture Matte Lip Stain and this is in the shade number 12, Red Tribe. I have never purchased one of these lipsticks before because they are $37. I think my most expensive lipstick I've ever bought was probably around $25, so 37 is a pretty big jump from that. I don't know anyone who owns this lipstick, but it's talked about a lot because supposedly this applicator is supposed to be incredible. This applicator is really easy for you to like line your lips with, so people really like the shape of it. I have actually never seen a lipstick with an applicator that looks like this, so I'm very intrigued to see where my $37 is going. The one thing that completely sucks about this lipstick is that it smells so intensely of like some weird floral perfume. I find that that happens a lot with higher end brands and cosmetics. They just love shoving scents in there when no one asks for them. I don't want this scent, especially on a lipstick where it's like right under my nose. Aside from the smell, I feel like the pigmentation is great. I do think it applied like a dream. This was a really good applicator. Now we just have to see how long it actually lasts. The lipstick definitely looks less vibrant than it did when I started eating. I feel like it might have faded the color a little bit. I don't know. I don't think that this lipstick is holding up particularly well. This YSL lipstick has disappointed me in more ways than one. I just feel like it has dried my lips out to like no end. Like look at how dry and crusty it made my lips. <gasps> Oh my God, it looks really bad. It's definitely not as bright red as it was when I first applied it, but for a stain, I feel like this color isn't bad. It's actually held on a lot longer than most other lip stains that I've tried. And I don't know, my lips were prepped. I did a scrub before. I've done a scrub before all of these lipsticks to ensure that it doesn't catch on to any dry patches or anything. And it's like it sucked all of the moisture out of my mouth with just this one test. The Maybelline, Sephora, and Stila lipsticks were pretty good. I feel like they're solid red lipsticks. I just had some issues with them when it came to the dryness and the comfort throughout the day. The worst lipstick that I tried out this week was definitely that YSL Matte Lip Stain. And I know it's a stain, it's supposed to dry down immensely and just leave that wash of color on your lips. I know, but when I was doing all this research, trying to figure out what lipsticks I could pick, this one always was on the list because people apparently really love this formula. I don't know why, it dries too much. This week I have tried a lot of good contenders for the best long lasting red lipstick, but one definitely stood out amongst all the rest. I'm wearing it right now. Can you tell what it is? I think I'm gonna have to go with the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint. This one is literally the closest thing to a perfect red lipstick I think we could ever get to. And that is not a small statement, I understand, but it's honestly true. This one ticked all the boxes when it came to the application, the staying power, the comfort, and the pigmentation. I think $24 is a good investment for a red lipstick that lasts just as long as this one did. And it looks so good on so many different people. I just feel like a lot of people will love this lipstick.